Hello, I'm Miss Samantha Mann. Welcome to my box of issues. Right, um, so this week's dilemma. Hello, everybody. Good afternoon. Um, let's get going. So, this week's dilemma goes as follows. It just says, what can we do about the polar ice caps melting? Um, so that's rather difficult, isn't it? Um, I'm not sure that we can do anything about it, actually. It seems to be well underway. Um, and you would have to talk to your, I don't know, Victorian ancestors if you really wanted to deal with it. Um, although, of course, in the last century, we, we've certainly contributed. And um, in the last, uh, you know, 40, 50 years, it seems to be. Um, but um, anyway, the point is, um, I'm not sure that there is an awful lot that we can do. I've been collecting milk bottle tops um, for years and years um, in the hope that that would make some sort of difference. But um, jolly difficult to get hold of milk bottles that have aluminium tops nowadays. Um, one has to go well out of one's way um, to do it. And I always feel as though um, if, you know, if lots of people were doing that, perhaps those, the, you know, the, the people who, who, who shop... Um, using their cars. That seems rather counterproductive, doesn't it? One has to drive around um, looking. I mean, I shop on a bicycle usually, but um, that's not, you know, I'm not pretending that I'm any better than anybody who um, uses a car, but, you know, it depends where you live and what the, you know, and so on and so forth. But um, in any case, um, that doesn't seem to have done an awful lot of good, unfortunately, um, one way or another. Um, and um, I'm left feeling that we probably need to just um, adapt to a world in which um, in which it's an awful lot um well, wetter. Um, what um, um, what uh, what we forgot to do last week, uh, which perhaps we could bring in now, um, is um, is we what? And I should probably say that there are members of the team who have expressed a dissenting opinion about this, but I think it's a jolly good idea. I'm very fond of this. So it's the joke segment, um, which which I thought we should we should we should do as a regular feature. Um, so what we've been vetting the jokes. Um, I just forgot to. To, to do it last week, so um, I thought I might do it now, particularly since I don't feel as though I've really been able to answer that dilemma. It is, I mean, in many ways, perhaps, I'm not, or perhaps that's defeatist of me, I don't know, you might have different opinions, but um, in any case, so, but to lighten the mood and um, and to leave us feeling a little bit hopeful for the future, I thought we could um, we could end with a joke. This one, so the, these, um, these were chosen, um, there's been an extensive process of vetting, which is why it's taken several weeks, and this was chosen for, for last week, but um, I... I as I say, I forgot. Um, abominable jokes, it's called. Um, number one, it says, um, why is the abominable snowman popular at parties? Um, and the answer is, one, um, he's good at breaking the ice. Oh, which um, certainly doesn't seem hugely appropriate. And I'm not sure that's even very funny, is it? I don't know. Are they known for breaking ice? I'm not sure. I suppose if they are, that's a good joke, but... Perhaps a different week would have been preferable. Do visit the Facebook page. Uh, look for Ms. Samantha Mann.